so the new most important uh, constant uh, after remaining the maximum uh, ground fault current level and ground uh, uh, resistance uh, we will find out the uh, ground potential rise uh, ground potential rise in uh, simple words uh, you should know that basically uh, ground is mesh ha having a resistance and uh, when current is flowing through resistance there will be potential rise through it the voltage will be induced in it and if resistance is more uh, more voltage will induce so resultant will be the potential rise uh, of the substation so maximum potential rise of the grid with respect to remote earth is described by the earth electrode voltage and can be calculated by resistance to earth and grid current following between earth uh, flowing between earth earthing system of substation and earth so we have the value which is very simple we have ig which is a grid fault fault level which is 44.1 uh, kilo amperes and we have also uh, the resistance of our uh, substation which is 0 0.09024 this we have just calculated in my earlier lectures uh, then we have ground pressure rise by this simple formula is coming 0 0.39796 kV and uh, this is called as earthing electrode voltage this term is used and this formula is taken from PESP 119.10 also you will find this formula in IEC standard so you can get the IEC standard uh, for this the ground potential rise should be as much less as possible and you can control the ground potential rise by reducing the ground resistance and the ground resistance can be controlled by selecting the thicker or uh, the more cross-sectional area conductor in the mesh and increasing the number of rods uh, to decrease the resistance, effective resistance of the earth. So this was a little calculation for ground potential. Next topic we will start as uh, design of earth grid with respect to touch and step potential which is our next topic.